Yo, yo, YouTubers, what is up? Got another package today. Now, this was an unexpected purchase. I more or less saw on Facebook someone posting the Molina with the katana. That looked really good. I, I ain't gonna lie. And so I decided to randomly look on eBay and I found this for a killer deal below retail. And this is a low edition size. So I decided, screw it. I'm just gonna get it. I can put another glass display case next to Molina and it'll fit. So I took the plunge and here we are. Got number 70 of 300. So. is not that big for the katana itself. Not that big. All right. So it looks like I won't need that because it's straps. Top. So it is labeled. I just pray this isn't damaged. I know a lot of people got theirs damaged. All right, looks like this is the fans from Katana herself. I did watch a lot of videos on this before making that decision as well. So here's the base, not very big. Smaller than Melina's base. Katana. So this is from Mortal Kombat 9, which is actually my favorite Mortal Kombat. Yeah, for me, MK9 easily was the best. She fits. The arm magnet is pretty strong, which is nice. Having a weak magnet is always super annoying. So they're always worried it's going to fall off. So I'm going to display the bloody fan first. Now I do have the MK9 1 4th scale. You know, and, so that's one reason I actually really passed on this. Plus, Katana was so annoying in Mortal Kombat 9. She was so good. Let's see. And it annoyed me how good she was. And she kept raping my character. I played Kung Lao. Raiden was my original main. And then I ended up maining Sonya, Cyrax. Pretty much half the cast, to be honest. So the bloody fans do look really good. I plan to display the masked portrait for the most part. So here it is. I'm surprised the hair is actually a separate piece. It's not too heavy either. So here's the hair, just like so. I'm gonna look at the mass unmasked portrait. So 
So the unmasked portrait, uh, he did advise it did come uh, with one damaged earring. That's the only damaged part right there. So. Which is, you know, I don't actually plan to display this portrait. And here is the earring itself. So I'm actually going to try to glue that. There's one little blue piece. Not sure if he included it, but I'm going to go ahead and set this up and we can review her. Alrighty, everybody. So I am waiting on my display case to get this finalized, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and display Katana here. Uh, I haven't been gaming that much on MK. I'm just not a big fan of MK11, so... Here she is next to Melina and Goro. So let me just do some close-ups and then I'll show it out. So here's the face. Face looks awesome. That is mixed media. You know, it's all mixed media. See her massive titties. Pretty sure it's the same body as Melina. They just reused it just like how they did the ninjas. Skin tone looks excellent. The bloody fans look awesome. On my other katana, I actually do one bloody fan, one normal, and I think that looks fine because of the pose. However, with this, I would not do that. I think you either need to do double bloody or double clean. So there's the blood. Much different than another one. Another one's like a translucent resin, where this is more just painted on. Here's her sash, which is real. The only problem with real is obviously you can see wrinkles in here. So I need to like get those out somehow. Melina's is uh, more leather, so hers aren't as noticeable. And here is her legs. They look great. She's wearing high heels, just like Melina. See the different creases here. The base, uh, this is a translucent water look. Uh, you know, this is supposed to represent more or less Adenia, where she's from, where she's the princess. You have this little symbol and all these different symbols on the side. It's smaller than Melina's, just a little bit. But I mean, it works, it looks good. It's, uh, I like the water effect. I wish that would light up. That way she had some sort of light up because you know, all the one thirds have a light up but her. You know, Melina, her lava effect lights up. Katana's, the light on the water does not light up and I wish it did. I plan to display only the masked head. I really don't like Katana unmasked. I just don't like it. Melina looks awesome because of the teeth, but Katana, you know, it just doesn't look near as good. The mask is the way to go. She's a sexy, sexy ass ninja, and this is how she's supposed to be displayed. So she's 27 and a half inches tall. Let me uh, back it up so you can get a better view because I'm sitting here sitting down. My puppy's going crazy. You know, so you can see it next to, you know, like the one fourth is over there. See just how much tinier that that is. Now this one's definitely a big step up in terms of quality and overall look. I think Katana's face is a little bit prettier on the one third. The hair is more detailed and the costume is more detailed. The fans are more detailed, you know, and that one's fully sculpted. I think the base is probably better on the other one. I love the base on that one. You know, these one third bases are good though. So, you know, it's definitely an awesome statue. And I got this for 600 shipped, which is a hundred below retail minus shipping. So killer deal, glad I picked her up. There's only 300 of these. So it's not, I don't see her often on like eBay or people selling it. You know, it's an awesome statue. And I'm happy to have her now. Cause you know, she was the missing piece. Let me show you where I'm planning to get her. So. You know, I have this, that's where Melina is currently, and I actually have that little space, as you can see. So I'm gonna get another one of these glass curios. I just ordered it off of Amazon, so I should get it in the next few days. I was waiting until I actually got Katana before buying it, you know, because you just never know if it arrived damaged or never arrives at all. So now that I have it in person, and I love it, and I definitely am keeping it, I'm gonna put a glass case there and do Katana over there, Melina right here. That's the plan. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a, a back view now of the two girls, and you can decide which has a nicer ass. 
Alrighty, so here is the girls from behind. I will say that Katana's looks better in person than it does in photos. You know, like when you look in photos, Melina is perfect. You know, it's like, that's the ideal woman. I'm pretty sure they're exact same sculpt. Katana's looks a lot better in person than it does in photos. You know, or video even. It's definitely really nice. And obviously you can see the skin and not just like the, almost like leggings type that Melina is wearing. Although I do think Melina still overall looks better. So Melina wins there. Check out the back part of the hair. So the hair piece is separate as you saw, which I was surprised on. But you can see that the hair looks great. Let me show you the hair of the old one now. See how combined it is. Now you can see like the face and everything. This one actually has a phenomenal butt as well. So there you have it from a distance. Get that money shot. Look at you, Goro. Alrighty, let's turn them around and look at uh, the extra parts now of Katana. Alrighty, so here is the clean fans. Also looks absolutely awesome. Love the clean fan look as well. So I definitely plan to regularly switch these out. Let me show you some of the detail on these fans because the original MK9 Katana had no detail on the fans where this one, they put that Edenia signal, you know, that same one right there is on the fans. So you have four of them on both sides as well, not just this outside, but the inside. Then they added this little like texture stars almost. As you can see, you know, compared to the old one, you know, you see it's just plain. So that looks good. In regards to these metal things, they're pretty sharp. The like actual fan is sharp if you touch it. So let's try out this unmasked portrait now. Alrighty, so here's the unmasked portrait of Katana. Now this one did arrive a little bit damaged. The right earring, uh, let me show you the normal one has that little blue thing. This one broke off, I just glued it, but basically it's missing the little blue ball. <coughs> so I mean, luckily, if you're looking at it straight forward, the hair covers that portion. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons I got this so cheap was because of that. Granted, I don't really plan to display this head, but it does look better in person, I will say, than in pictures. In pictures, I always thought it looked ugly, but I, I can tell you now, I definitely make out with that face. It's still a very cute face. So now both the girls are unmasked. I gotta tell you, I'm definitely digging the non-bloody fans as well. They look fantastic because you're able to see the detail more. Although this is MK, so I'm always about that blood. You know, Melina, I've only displayed the bloody daggers. Not once have I displayed the unbloody. And I really like both Melina's faces. This one's just so detailed and cool. But I also love the masked one as well. So here's the Katana portrait. I definitely think it's better than the portrait, uh, the unmasked one from this one. Excuse me. Uh, this one, the unmasked portrait's terrible. I've never once displayed it. It's hidden away, never to see the light of day ever again. But there you have it, folks, MK9 Katana. Uh, so I'll be getting my glass curio. That's what this shelf is called. It's like a half detail. Although it's more expensive than a Detolf, which is really annoying considering Detolf is usually like 70 bucks. These are like 80 to 90. Ridiculous, right? But this is, you know, like a metal or a wood instead of a metal like a Detolf. But I'll put it right there and have the two girls next to each other. And inside, I might do Freddy and Jason and move Raiden up there and put something else down there. But yeah, Katana's awesome. Uh, definitely worth the pickup. Glad to have her. She's a welcome addition to the MK collection. Still trying to figure out if I'm going to get the Raiden from the Ultraline. I probably will. Just waiting to see in hands or at least at its shipping this year. Because it's supposed to ship in August, but PCS has not stated there that it's shipped from their warehouse. So very unlikely it will even ship this year in my opinion. Because PCS has a track record for, you know, two-year delays. So if Raiden does ship this year... 99% chance I'll get him. If he doesn't ship, then unfortunately he won't make the cut for my collection. Hope you all have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe.